Welcome to Space Lab. I'm Cyber Settler, and today we are reviewing this um, ship I made. And the idea behind this uh, ship is that I wanted it to be to somehow follow uh, the Apollo uh, command module and, and service service uh, module layout. Um, I built this ship to work with uh, Digi's uh, realistic thruster, so it's taking into account the uh, center of mass. But additionally, I am using uh, another mod from Digi to be able to control the thrusters, the, this thrust override, with the gamepad. So this is very interesting because the the in my last video I, I was like um, making suggestions about adding some mapping to the action bar, like we could uh, map action actions to some custom key or custom control, and particularly particularly I was interested in mapping to the gamepad but i found this uh, other mod from digi and it works pretty well so currently with the with the mods we have in space engineers we can do the things that i i wanted um, but i would like that um, keen will include this in in their vanilla uh, game it will be very good. Okay, but uh, let's start with a review of the of the ship. So, as you can see right away, um, I try to preserve uh, the symmetry um, in all, well, in the side axis and the vertical axis. It has some asymmetry uh, in the forward and backward axis of course <coughs> but uh, in general what uh, we are looking for is to balance the the center of mass so so that we can um, control the ship easily with this uh, thruster layout and um, I downloaded this uh, block this um, submarine door because uh, well, this is a small ship. Ah, but by the way, uh, the small grid is the best to try to uh, make these uh, symmetric uh, ships to work with these uh, realistic thrusters to work with the center of mass. And I found well, the, uh, you know that for the um, small grid, there are no doors in the vanilla game so there are uh, several m mods out there that add uh, small doors and this is one of them so what i was looking for is a door that will somehow resemble the the apollo module door so this is this was difficult and this was the closest i could find <laughs> i i think it doesn't look that bad um okay so in the front i have like the parachutes and the and the merge block that act, acts like a, a docking port following like the what the apollo command module had and i'm using these uh, glass uh, windows from the recent update that that keen made to the space engineers game so we can have windows in the small blocks and also it has a merge block on the back so it's a it's very um, simple it doesn't have a survival kit it just has the hydrogen oxygen generator uh, inside we have um, V uh, air vents so we can pressurize the interior 
Uh, currently they are not working. I don't know why. It should. And I have this uh, double cabin uh, layout to be symmetric. So, and this is the the. This is basically what what uh, we have in the interior and. Now I will demonstrate how this um, uh, custom mapping works. Well, now I will take the the gamepad, and here what I did is that I mapped uh, the two um, control sticks uh, of the gamepad. So in the left one, I'm controlling the pitch up and down and um, and the roll um, and the roll uh, uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise uh, uh, as well so this was a little bit following like this um, elite dangerous default uh, controls because well I, I, I got used to this uh, elite dangerous layout of the gamepad. Uh, with the right control I'm uh, controlling the jaw so I, I can jaw uh, left and right and also I'm controlling uh, up and down so we can move up and down. So what I found is that um, it's sometimes tricky like to um, to bring the ship to, to a halt uh, and this is because we don't have these uh, dampeners uh, thing so uh, maybe it would be good like to have uh, ah by the way I did this there are two ways to 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 make the this uh, custom mapping work either you use uh, timer blocks or you use a programmable block and in my case I'm using I ended up using the programmable block because it um, gives like more flexibility so if we go to the to the programmable block uh, I can show you like the little program I made it's not very long ah by the way I I have four programmable blocks in this uh, ship uh, mainly because of uh, symmetry reasons um, I'm using currently only two and uh, this particular programmable block is controlling the roll and the pitch and uh, here um, I initialize uh, the this these blocks by group. It it looks at the group. So I have this roll clock, roll and the clock, pitch up and pitch down thruster groups that group the the, the pertinent uh, thrusters. And then I will um, be running this uh, program in a loop. It checks every 10 ticks uh, to the user input and it will what it does it 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 calls this manage um, left stick control so this programmable block is only looking at the left stick control of the gamepad and then what it does it it activates or deactivates uh, the, the the thrusters so and the other one currently is looking at the at the right stick so it it it's controlling this jaw and up and down movement of the ship so it's a, rel a relatively simple program I will uh, put this all this in the workshop so you can look at it and the thing one one thing i found because 
not all the possible movements are mapped currently so what is missing now for example is the forwards and backwards and also the left and right movement and one um, issue is that for example I with the sticks I run out of uh, directions uh, to control so what what we have in Elite for example that I use uh, quite a lot is that um, in the um, with the gamepad I would um, press the the, the left uh, stick button um, I will press the left stick and it and it um, switches to uh, an alternative uh, control mode and when switch I can then uh, for example use the right stick to uh, go left and right instead of um, the jaw that usually um, you would usually jaw left and right uh, but if you press the button then it switches to this alter alternate but if I press uh, for example the right um, stick that this is what I would like to do to, to switch then this comes up this is um, like uh, space engineers um, game uh, con control by default that uh, you have with the gamepad and I think we are not the, 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 the problem is that the, the mod this uh, custom um, key binding uh, mod it doesn't override the default um, mapping of the of the game so I think we don't have problems mapping right now the this uh, left and right sticks uh, directions when we when we um, uh, action the when we manipulate the sticks uh, we don't have any override and uh, apparently but that's because uh, the the thrusters are overridden so if I move uh, the mouse currently I'm moving the mouse and nothing is happening and that's because I don't have for example the gyroscope and I think if I added a gyroscope then this um, the, the 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 sticks from the gamepad will will move the the ship but currently um, I can map them and there's no problem because we don't have the gyroscope I think so this is somehow a shortcoming and this is um, why it would be good if if Keen would uh, support this instead of us having a, a mod to to do this because then maybe we could override uh, this uh, default behavior of the game. Of course, you can use some other keys, but really for the this um, to use these uh, thrusters override with this center of mass. The, the best would be that we could use just uh, like the like this um, gamepad or I don't know the the mouse. I haven't tried with a with a num key um, with a numpad keys, but certainly I would prefer to have it like this with a with a with a gamepad. Maybe I also um, thought of uh, controlling the forwards and backwards with the uh, left and right buttons. This is also how you control the thrusters in Elite Dangerous. But I haven't have time to, to, to do all these things. I wanted to, to um, get out the, this video already because I have, I think, um, that uh, I have a a pretty good idea now what what can be done, but I I'm really happy that uh, that this works like this uh, this uh, that we have this result. It's more than I 
had expected. In my previous video, I, I, I was just uh, giving up on, on this idea. But being able to map these uh, keys to the these actions to the to the gamepad is really a game changer in the sense that now it becomes really possible to to control the ship with a, with a gamepad with, uh, with this thruster override. So what I was thinking, because the only um, uh, beside that we um, somehow run out of uh, keys uh, to control the ship, this one issue. Um, beside this, the other problem is that it can become tricky to bring the the ship to a halt, as I was saying before. And what I thought is that we could bind some other key uh, to activate the dampers of the ship but this has to be done uh, at the same time that the thrusters um, we have to to deactivate this thruster override so if we would have like this um, I don't know how to call it like this uh, zero zero key uh, or this, uh, res I don't know how to call it, uh, like this reset movement key that we would um, press this key, press this button and then the the dampers come on and the th thruster override is turned off and our ship will be then, um, it will halt entirely. This would be good because this is necessary because um, uh, currently, I have trouble um, halting the ship entirely, and when when controlling the ship with this uh, with a gamepad, so that that would be good to have. So if we can solve all these uh, issues, I think it it could become viable to to control the ships like this. So I don't know what you think, guys. If um, this ship is, <laughs> I wanted it to to resemble like this Apollo command module with the service uh, module. Um, but it's it's really well. It's hard to like to to have a closer look, to have a closer resemblance somehow to the to the module. But I'm really happy with the. Well, with overall design, I think I will call this uh, the hamster, <laughs> the hamster module, <laughs> or the hamster ship. It reminds me of a little ha hamster, somehow. And here inside, you can see um, the cockpit. I have this, uh, like these laptops are the the programmable blocks for the small ship. So I I like this uh, like this uh, look that it has to it. Uh, this is the like the new open cockpit uh, from the small ship, and in front I have the two um, programmable blocks, and then additionally two uh, panels. To display whatever I don't know what uh, we could display there. Some maybe we c we could have this um, some uh, script running that will show us anything like um, hydrogen levels. I don't know a radar or something. So well, that's it. This is the. This is our, our ship, and I hope you like this. Uh, if you enjoy the video, um, like the, press the like button, and I hope to see you in the in our next video. Bye.